uh, I think early on I might have gotten a, a shot at playing a certain role because I could throw a football or, or something. Um, and I was very, uh, I was very aware of trying to just, I mean, that's okay to do that. I, I didn't mind doing that, but I, I wanted to have a little small acting thing to try to do too. I had expected to uh, go to law school and, and, and just kind of continue my education, but I didn't, I didn't stay with that very long. I ended up in advertising and, and I started studying acting on the side. It's something that I thought about for a long time. It took a long time for me to admit it to myself. That's what I was going to do. If you had asked me if I wanted to be an actor, I wouldn't have been able to say the word. I would have said, uh, oh, I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. On our way here, I googled your name. Yeah, that must have been Google. fun. And Did you get anything that was true? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. You gotta um, ask. But I got three pages, the first three pages were all about your acting career, which is it's probably quite, the stuff my mom wrote. Which is quite right. expansive. What, a lot of people sometimes forget that you played two years of football at UCLA. What's, what's something you want to remind them about your football playing days? I still know most of those guys, and I'm still pretty tight with certainly my offensive line from that time period. But uh, I wouldn't trade those memories for anything. That first game meant a lot. Not, not because we won. I mean, we, we did win. And we, and, we, and we beat Nebraska, which was great. But um, that, was a, that was a memorable turn for UCLA, for the whole program. Uh, that's something that uh, my dad was broadcasting the game. A lot of friends in the stands. We weren't supposed to win. Uh, all that. And, and to be in that environment in front of 80,000 people was, was, was pretty terrific for a 19-year-old kid. For that game, was it really special for you to have your dad broadcasting that? You know, I grew up with it. My dad was always a broadcaster. Uh, he had done the UCLA games prior to me ever getting there, so, so he actually tried to step down as a broadcaster uh, when I chose to go to UCLA instead of somewhere else. The fact that he had conversations with J.D. Morgan, and J.D. Morgan said, look, we want you in the center of the mic, we want you there. Um, odd for my dad because my dad had to sound off about his son for two hours every Saturday night for the next two years. Um, in fact, a family joke, actually, he, he did that by not calling me by name. He'd say the quarterback. The quarterback goes back to pass. The quarterback hands off, whatever. So at home I became the quarterback, kind of a nickname. Do you remember how many yards you passed for in that game? No, no idea. It was 65. Ah. Big passing day. Yeah, um, do you remember how many yards you ran for no, in that I do game? Not, no. 71. Really? So yeah. it's almost like more than the passing yards, A huh? little bit more. <laughs> Maybe, um, the best actor on the set here to pass around football with. Oh, you know, they're all pretty athletic. Uh, Cody, maybe. Um, uh, Weatherly, of course. Uh, David McCallum, which might surprise you. Polly Perrette can throw a very tight spiral. Uh, Sean Murray uh, also. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a jocular crew. So in the TV movie mm -hmm. of your years at UCLA, yeah. who plays you? <laughs> who plays me? Donnie Most? I, I don't know. <laughs>